Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your support seeing how YouTube demonetized me. Yep, um, so many of you across the world has helped keep me up and going. Here's an update what's going on at Yellowstone. As you can see, there's certain places where the uh, magma coming up from under the crust of the earth has melted the snow. Yep, and the steam has been looking a little gray. Looks like it stopped again. Stopping and going, stopping and going. Yellowstone this year, or this month, last month, has had three eruptions for Steamboat Geyser. The 8th, 27th, and the 17th of November. That makes 45 eruptions so far this year for Steamboat Geyser. Breaking records once again. Supposedly, for the month of November, there was only 107 earthquakes recorded at Yellowstone. Yeah, it stopped again, didn't it? But we all know that they downgrade the earthquakes and don't report them all, don't we? Yeah. Looks like it's trying to snow there at Yellowstone once again. Yeah, I just hate that one. It's not a smooth stream. Right there at the uh, Yellowstone National Park live webcam. Yeah. They are only reporting seven earthquakes for the Yellowstone and surrounding area. The largest being a 2.3 up by Lincoln, Montana. Shallow, 5.8 kilometers in depth. So that would be 3.6 miles in depth and all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Frenchtown, where is that? I don't see it. 12.8 uh, kilometers. Um, a 0 0.4, that would be along the Snake River Plateau, 11.4 kilometers in depth. Um, a 1.1 today at Old Faithful, 7.6 kilometers in depth. So that would be 4.7 miles above sea level. That would be just below the upper magma chamber of Yellowstone Caldera. Close to the same location, a 0 0.6. Uh, 7.7 kilometers in depth so that would be 4.8 miles in depth and 2.2 for Lincoln Montana 13.9 kilometers a 2.8 Lincoln Montana um, let's see that would be 5 kilometers in depth and that's all the reporting for today Lincoln, Montana is near the uh, North American Craton, so the lithosphere is damaged there. Yeah, it was probably trying to separate at one time. I want to add that on November 9th was the largest earthquake that they had for the month of November there at the Yellowstone National Park. It was a magnitude 3.1. Yeah, you can see sometimes how the steam is going gray. Yeah, seems to be a lot more active lately. See that? See how that's gray? Yeah. Let's bring it down a little bit. We can see this hot spot. I also want to add that I am on BitChute. B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E. If I get shut down on YouTube, I am on BitChute. I put everything on there also. I'm also on Patreon. And I have PayPal for donations to keep me going. As of 12 noon, the static cam for Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, it looks like the waters around the one little island are starting to get a little frozen, don't they? Using Swarm, here's all the earthquakes that occurred there. This is from a borehole, a very deep well there at Yellowstone Lake. 510 Universal Time. I'm going to show you all three monitors. This bottom one is Yellowstone Lake. Here we have Norris Junction. Kind of hard to see up here at Madison River. And we got another one, uh, 720. And we got another one at 735. Now they did report the one at 735 and 720, a 0 0.6 and a 1.1. Uh, why not this other one? at 510 so we got this one here it shows up 720 you can see it brought up hot gases uh, 735 hot gases also but this other one let me bring it back down okay 
Yeah, 510. See the heat that came up? See the difference? I don't see gases, but it brought up heat. A lot of heat. What am I missing? Here we have Maple Creek. There's that earthquake. Holmes Hill. Was there a large earthquake someplace else? Yep, Aleutian Islands at 501. Yep. A 6.0, 27.3 kilometers in depth. I've talked about how the earthquakes around the world, large ones, it seems like their energy is directed towards Yellowstone. Yeah. Afterwards, there was a 4.3, 35.0 kilometers in depth. A little bit deeper. This one was 27.3 kilometers. So I imagine it probably shook up the volcanoes there along the west coast. You know, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, etc. Later on, we had a lot of gases coming up. Again, this is the monitor. It's a deep well. Probably about 500 feet under the ground. There at Yellowstone Lake. Yeah. Look at all this that was going on. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Fairly large signature that came in, huh? But actually, see, we got one here at uh, 7, maybe 07, 08. And this one at 720 and 735, they did report. I'll pull it over for you. And we'll go ahead a little bit. There's a small one just after 1 o'clock. Now, that's universal time. 101 universal time. Yeah, you can see it brought up some gases. And we'll go up here. Yeah, a lot of activity was going on. We got another little one here. Another little one there. But this one here, let's look at its signature. Yep. And we'll look at this signature. And this one that they did report. And that one. All right, here we have the monitor for Norris Junction. This is a borehole. This, again, is a very deep well, about 500 feet under the ground. There's the earthquake at 735. Yeah, now that one brought up some heat, didn't it? You can see two lines of melt. They're saying that earthquake was a 1.1 right along the Madison River area. There you got Purple Mountain. We got Gibson River. And here's Yellowstone. But even manual, done by the scientists at Norris Junction, they said it was a 1.48, not a 1.1. Also manual, Purple Mountain was a 1.22. Uh, Mary Lake, 1.27. And they're not giving us any details by the computer. Only manual readings. These readings evidently came from the University of Utah. Here we have another small one at 707. That one is not being reported. We got another one here at 740. Uh, we got this one here at 811. Not being reported. Got quite a few here. Um, 812. Eight thirteen. This is how they keep the numbers of the earthquakes down. Seven twenty. Now that's the one they did report. Uh, Seven thirty-five. They reported that one. This one and this one. And look at all the other ones that they didn't report. We got another small one at eight forty-eight. Uh, Nine forty-five brought up some gases. Yeah, a little microquake. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, we got. One, two, and three lines of melt. That other one's very small. 2218. That would have been yesterday. Yeah, that was a sharp pop there. They did report that as a 0 0.8, 11.8 kilometers in depth. Again, along the Snake River Plateau. Automatic by the computer at the western boundary was a 0 0.84. Madison River. Um, a 0 0.89. They decided on a 0 0.8. It was actually outside of the park. Why are they taking readings from inside the park? I know they got, they have to have monitors along the Snake River Plateau. Here we have the monitor for Madison River. There is two marked in red. 
we got that one 835 they did report that one yeah look at the heat that came up and this one at 720 they did report that one also let's see there's its signature but we got another one here that's not in red at 811 yep hot gases and this is what it was showing when yeah look at all that when I pulled the file yeah we got screw waves here yeah look at that now this one here is that earthquake if I can get back down there that occurred along the Aleutian Islands yeah it brought up the heat and lots of gases look at that I really wish they had live webcams of more than one location here we got yeah Madison River look at them all marked in red um, let's take a look at Mary Lake yeah look at them all marked in red but they only reported seven today I got what one two three four five six right here all marked in red you notice the thickening of the lines after that earthquake came in from the Aleutian Islands look at that and it's thickening up again yeah this is that 0 0.8 that they reported and we got another one there yeah yeah I think they worry about property prices going down much like what happened with Mount St. Helens after its eruption so that's all I have for you right now if you have any thoughts or comments or questions put it down below thank you for your support thank you for subscribing please stay safe and I will talk to you later God bless y'all and happy holidays.